I'm confused. Was that... Was that Nick that the hunters had strung up? So, uh... I think so. Why didn't you come? Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. That was our mistake. Okay, so backstory time. Hello? Uh, Max? Yep. I don't see why not. Max! Hey. Come here. Come what the hell? I probably shouldn't have called out, but... Get in there. Fucking do it. Oh. Does he transform right there? Yep. You goddamn kids. So the cop does know what's going on. But it's not Carnival Carnies. At least as far as I could tell yet. Carnival. They're not carnivorous or cannibal carnies. Okay. She sells both her eyes. Shut up. You can't just shut up. This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. Fuck you. Name. Laura Kearney. Who are you traveling with? And what is your relationship? Max Brindley, he's my boyfriend. Where were you headed last night? To Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You already know this. What have you done with Max? No. I ask, you answer. That's and I punch your lights out because you are not helping the situation. I hate this shit. Oh, I hate this shit where people are like, oh, well, I have all the power, so I'm Sorry. not going to help with anything. What do you want to know? Oh. Well. Uh, why are we going to Hackett's Quarry last night? Max and I are camp counselors. Oh, bullshit. Counselors aren't due until today. I told you, we drove up and got there early. We figured we'd just go to camp. Why didn't you go to the motel like I told you? Because we were like way closer to the camp and we're broke. Mm -hmm. Oh, North Co County. Shit, that's such a weird ass name. Okay, sure. That's a terrible name. Hackett. Oh. Wait. Hackett? Like. This Chris is T. Hackett? Don't change the subject. What the fuck is going on here, man? You have no idea what's going on here. Not a goddamn clue. That's the problem. You, you won't get the information. Double prime. Go ahead and kill yourself, cosmic type shit, young lady. And your only option is to buckle the fuck up and do what I say. Do you understand? This is what I hate when these people in some kind of authority position or um, people who know something is going on won't tell people who get screwed around, screwed up and put into these situations what's going on so they can make a clear decision and understand what the hell is happening. Like, hey, tell her 
okay, you were attacked by something, some kind of crazed animal at the very least, and it had a virus that we're not sure if you or your boyfriend are infected by. And the problem is, the only way to tell is through quarantine and waiting a few days to see what happens, or a few hours. Like, please, makes sense. I know horror game got a horror game, but logic and reason and stupidity. <laughs> Stop trying to intimidate me. Yes! And tell me what the fuck is going on. Is, is Max alive? I feel like I'm going crazy. What? Her arm is going through the door. Don't lash out. There's no point in it at the moment. Don't lash out. I want to punch him, but I don't feel like that's what's necessary at the moment. Let's go. Hey. Hey, you asshole. <laughs> you want to tell us what the fuck's going on? Max! I know you hear me. Okay? Yeah. I mean, I'm... I'm kind of all mixed up, but... More or less intact, I think. <laughs> Laura? Yeah? Why am I naked? What? I mean, after we got attacked... The next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell and you're gone. And now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and stuff everywhere. I mean, what the fuck happened? Uh, you be a werewolf, dude. I was kind of hoping you could tell me what happened. I feel and like a body I horror pieces, werewolf at that. None of it makes any sense. Yeah, same. I, I feel like... Were we drugged? I feel like maybe we were drugged. By a cop? Do they do that? <laughs> Who does this guy think he is? Well, Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max! What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill. That's the town. Oh. And it gets better. Definitely not there. He's I not all about. I got his name badge and... Get dressed. What's he giving you? I'm not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? You haven't said anything. That's the problem! I wasn't aware we needed your permission, Detective Dick Whippet. <laughs> yeah, it's a free country, Officer Oat. For brains. Shit. All right, buddy. Hands through the bars. Come on. He's got a really smug look on his face, and that bothers me because it makes him look super punchable. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey, hey. Let's Get go. the fuck off. Come on. Move. Good boy. Talking to him like it's a damn dog. Hey! Stop struggling. Max, 
Babs, calm down. You're only making it worse. Laura. What the hell did you do to her? Shut up. Okay. Okay. I don't know how to feel. I'm literally just watching this now. There's got to be something in here you can use. I mean, pipe. That's really it. There's something on the ground. Sis. Oh, a false brick. Not a chance. Hmm. Some sort of lever. Okay. Can't check. Honestly, can't get out the window. It's not gonna happen. A spoon. It's of course a spoon. Oh, yeah, this ought to do it. Ah, yes. Something in there? Hello? Oh, she loosened it so she could grab it later if she needed it. There was one last thing I could choose. Oh, I guess I don't get to because this is going on. Watch it, man. I bruise easily. Give me a break. Hey, the second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Can you get out? Hmm. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? I don't like the sheriff. Hey! What the fuck is that supposed to mean, asshole? I really don't hey, feel like I like the sheriff that much. Here. Pinky bonky. <laughs> okay, so at least we're figuring out what the hell happened to them. How'd it go in there? You sing like a canary? Nothing to sing about. I'm sure you've got plenty to confess. <laughs> well, that may be true, but I don't think he's too interested in how I cheated off Mikey Washington in eighth grade chem. Really, though, what happened? He, uh, he just asked a lot of questions. A lot of weirdly specific questions about us and where we were going and why and how I was feeling this morning and I don't know. Nothing I said made him seem any less annoyed. Hmm. He asked how you were feeling? Yeah. Why, he didn't ask you? No. Huh. Rude. Okay. What else we got here? I mean, it's literally just dialogue is what we're going off of at the moment. Oh, hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whippet? It's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like THE Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's THE Chris Hackett? As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Okay. I'm like, maybe the whole werewolf thing comes with amnesia? Last night feels like a lifetime ago. I mean, obviously it comes with amnesia, but like... Mean, you know, Longer term amnesia. We set up? Maybe it's some kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. Well, that's. 
I mean... What? <laughs> Max is definitely not here. Well, I guess Sheriff Hackett's not exactly acting like a typical kidnapper, but... But you know what a typical kidnapper acts like? He's not acting like? like a typical cop, either. Definitely not that, though. Well, how do you know how kidnappers act? I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. That's true. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, you have to. Something's wrong with him. Sometimes things just don't make sense. Obviously, he's a werewolf. What then? But still. We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? This isn't forever, Max. You, you can't just hold us here forever. He didn't seem too convinced of that. You huh. gotta stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? Might as well just accept it, right? No, He's such a that. downer. Like, think about I understand it's summer, a weird, Max. it's a bad situation. In school? But this is just I mean, some fucked up shit. I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not gonna let this flea bag fuck face stop me. We're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna study to be a vet, and you're... gonna, um... What? I'm gonna what? I saw the letter, Max. What are you talking about? The rejection letter for college. I found it in your bag. You were poking around in my stuff? I can't believe you didn't tell me. I was embarrassed. Maybe it's because I only saw Dude, him for like 30 minutes at the beginning of the game say? beforehand. Really not good enough. I just didn't get a real clue on his personality. You plans, Max. What the fuck? I don't know. What do you want me to say? I feel bad for them. I do. I'm sorry, Max. This, this really sucks. Hey, it's not the worst thing to happen this summer. I'm sorry. I would at least ask I for a damn ta wet towel to clear the blood off of me. You know you can talk to me about anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Okay, let's just focus on getting out of here for now. Great. Sign me up. We need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. Uh, it was already weird, but still. Do you think it was a good idea to have lied to him? About hitting a pothole? Yeah. I don't know. I think he probably knew we were lying. He was acting really strange. What if he's not even a real cop? Well, he's got to be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's like... Nobody else around. That's a good point. Yeah, that is concerning. Literally Especially no one else working here. Thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead... There's nobody there, and we get attacked by something, and then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a, a dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was was big, like yeah. person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, 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 I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. What is messed up about that is... He's well, here. I don't have a scratch on me. What? Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember... Before we got lost? You got lost? Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like... Whoa, look at the moon. 
it's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods, and you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month. That's a lie. Yeah, so it's happened three days in a row right, right here. So, you know, full moon. Yeah. He's gonna say it. What if, uh... Okay, no, stop. I'm just yes. saying, you know, maybe there's a slight chance <laughs> it was a werewolf. I'm down for it. Are you out of goddamn mind? <laughs> Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? What? No, what, I'm talking what, about real life, I I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. It's been you, you literally a full moon for the past three days. Zombies, aliens, time hopping Draculas. I'm down for it. You want right, answers? Right? Yeah. You want answers? I've got answers. Interrupt me again, you're on your own. Whatever. Would it really be so crazy? With all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick? With the thing on the roof? Okay, it would really start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan. I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are those are just campfire stories. Oh, it's like like Ryan. There's a rational explanation for everything, for all of this. There is no rational explanation for whatever the fuck that is. There's more to all this than you think. What's what's with her eyes? Show just me. Let me finish, and you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care. But I think you should hear all of it. Okay. The next few Ooh. weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot. As much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement, what happened to Max. We just kept going over it all again and again, and nothing was making sense. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there. So it is a once a month thing still. It's only on the full moon. I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. They're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, a plan. We keep saying that, but it's been weeks, so, you know, let me know if you have one. That's really not very helpful, Max. <laughs> you are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT. Tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Just keep it down. So what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when I turn into a nasty ass monster and kill you and eat you, and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, stop. Just one problem at a time. All right, we, we don't even know if that's what's really going on, and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. It's funny how he's the one well, with the most impressive options here. Options. He's the most depressing nice person here. On our side. What, so he'll let us go? <laughs> or... or he's, and he's right. We try to catch him off guard and make our escape. I don't know, screw it. I'll be nice to him. Okay, so... Let's say we get on his good side. What then? Brunch in mimosas every Sunday till he sees the error of his ways? Yeah, I was being rhetorical. The dude doesn't have a good side to get on. I mean, he don't even talk to us half the time. I don't know, I think we could crack him. Laura, I think he's just biding his time until he can figure out a way to get rid of us. Permanently. I think we, I should, think try. we should try. I wanna know if more lore. If he was gonna kill us, we'd be dead by now. So what's he waiting for? Look, we just... He's if waiting for the full work, moon to see if we're wer we werewolves. To escape. Deal? Yeah. Deal. So, all right, how are we supposed to get this guy to like us if he won't even talk to us? 
I don't know. I mean, he's gotta have a weak spot, like something we can use. It's not like we don't have time to figure it out. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Let's see what we can do here. Hey, hey! T-Money! <laughs> can I call you T-Money? Why? You can call me Officer Hackett. Hackett? Like as in Hackett's quarry? What's it to you? Just interested is all. Feel like we hardly know you. Well, let's keep it that way, okay? Oh, come on, T-Money, lighten up, man. No reason we can't be buds, right? I can think of seven. You're Understanding. Right. I'm trying to make him You've nice. Been just awful, and we really want to make it up to you. Oh. I see what you're doing. Well, it's not gonna work. You think we're just gonna be besties, and I'm gonna let you walk right out of here. Not gonna happen. Asshole! Max! I probably should you know have figured that would on? happen. We know Max is a werewolf! Oh wow, it actually... <laughs> Full moon's in a few days, right? What, what then? No, ma'am. You don't know the half of it. Well, that gave me some information at least. I said, take your fucking clothes off. Fuck off! Get back! Max, what's going on? <sighs> Get the fuck away from him! I don't feel like there was a good option there and it would have stayed the same. Come here. Shut up. Shut up. Have a seat. Quit squirming. Said you want to be a vet, right? Call us an internship. Let me go! You're not going to believe it until you see it for yourself. Just fucking ask next time then, dude. Jeez. <laughs> Don't get too close. Mm-hmm. Just wrapping things up here. It ain't gonna make a difference. It's really not gonna make a difference. Over. What's gonna happen? Well, I'll tell you. It's not gonna be pretty. Mm. But don't worry, I'll be back at dawn. You're really gonna leave me here? You'll be fine. Just don't get too close. Huh. Oh, yeah, he looks like Nick. He looks like Nick did before he turned. Tell me exactly what I want to understand feeling. these things. Laura, I, I don't feel so good. Not good, like how? I don't know, just bad. Come closer. Let me see your eyes. That's I a bad I'm idea. Back. Max, I need to observe you. <laughs> He's gonna explode right in front of her. Is this fucking close enough for you, bitch? Okay, severe aggression. Aggression, respiratory issues. His teeth have transformed nice. into shot. They're all sharp and everything. Uh, pronounced veins. Max. Tell me what's going on. Rowling. Auditory differences. 
And explosives I'm going with. Oh, yeah. Oh, his eyes and everything is just... Is it ex Why does he have to explode is my question. Oh, it clawed out his, uh, her eye. Wait, what? How did- how did she escape? Did he- oh, he broke the- He broke the, uh, pipe she was connected to. And he clawed out her eye. Ooh. Okay, my question, how didn't she die? Like, not die, how didn't she get infected? Is it because the blood flew out with all the infected parts or just because she wasn't bitten? Because last I checked, Emma was just scratched. She wasn't bitten. So much for depth perception. Unless I'm remembering wrong. I don't remember her saying that. That's so weird. I'm getting so lost in the moment, I'm forgetting about the past. Let's see what that bastard cop's hiding. So is he just hiding right here? Uh, let's say against this wall. That's what I figured would happen. Yeah, okay, let's go away now. Huh. And... What else do we got in here? Anything of importance? Looking for cards and such? Snoopy snoop. Snooping time. Time to snoop through all the cop stuff. No, I don't want to go through there. Locked thing. What's he hiding? Um. Oh, there's an upstairs. That looks like it goes. Okay, that goes outside. What are all these doors? Such a weird precinct. I'm trying to figure out where like the front door and shit is. Okay, this is the office that we were in. Can't do anything here. Let's see. What the fuck? Hello? hack it I was right about that not gonna know his password hint my birthday not so much a hint is a slap in the face all right so I gotta go find the paper with his birthday on it thank you let me go find the paper with his birthday on it Freak show goes up in flames, hikers missing, missing cats and, and dogs. Douglas and Edward Benson. Wonder who they are. Hmm. Four months still missing. Okay, it's so all the hikers. Alright, I need to go look around for information. There is an upstairs, so I want to go to there. Because I'm pretty sure that that's just this exit right there, so. 
Locked. Locked. Of course. Figures. And I guess I can't leave Max. Better keep snooping, or I could go back to my cell and wait, I guess. Why would I do that? That sounds like a terrible idea. <sighs> Fuck. I'm gonna need to rest soon. Uh, excuse me? Why rest? Okay, so lots of papers here. Obviously the big one right here on the table. Uh, a sheriff's badge. A charred well, sheriff's bag. Can't be doing too well. Blue discovered. Nothing else here. Probably one of his predecessors. Uh, let's see. Anything important? Nope. Nothing right here. Walk away. Can I turn, please? Thank you. There has to be more in here. I refuse to believe there's not more information in here. In this big ass room. It's ridiculous. There has to be more information in that room somewhere. Oh, I could just walk in. That's good to know. Didn't even give me the option. I was just like, what am I looking for here? This place has what is with this police station? It is in such bad disrepair. Ah, here we go. Oh! Tranquilizer. That's gonna be useful for later. This must be what he used to knock me out. That needle is myself. very much still open. I'm still looking for a birthday. Can I just walk in this room? Oh. Gosh dang it. Max, why do you do this? I know you're locked away and it just scares me. Happy birthday. Okay, good. Six. Mama's boy. Fifty-six. That means he was born in nineteen sixty-five. Alright. I have that. Now to the computer. Let me get to the computer and figure out what I need. It's so weird, because I'm thinking back, I said that I don't remember Emma getting bitten. I don't remember that happening. Did I like skip a cutscene by accident or something? Because I didn't see a point where that happened. I don't remember a point where that happened when she was fighting off her werewolf over there. But if it happened, it happened, obviously. 1965. So, 1965, but no day or month. Of course not. Oh, here's calendar. Ah. Birthday beers. July 7th. July 7th of 1965. There we go. Now I found it. Now I can actually get downstairs and open the computer. So, 7 Seven of sixty-five. 
You are very loud, Max. What have you got up your sleeve now? Fuck yeah. You heard this shit? We gotta shut it down. Can you handle the lot for me? Media player. Wow. Tigers at all but ghost hunters who went in search of answers and fell victim to the mercy of the hag of Hackett's quarry, never to be seen again. Okay. Like us. Except for the fell victim to the mercy of the blah 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 part. We're, we're more like, um, ghost investigators? Spectre sleuths? Sure. So, what happened next? Well, according to reports from the local paper, the North Kill Gazette, some hay bales caught fire during the opening night, and that spread pretty quickly. Before okay. they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke, including the show's leading lady and her alleged baby boy. Okay. Uh, something's going on with this. That's weird. Oh! Okay, that was unnecessary. Visual hallucinations. I got an achievement called Bizarre Yet Bonafide. That's funny. Clues. Of course I don't have the answer to that clue. Another episode of Supernatural Investigative Podcast, exploring the mysteries around the Hag of Cactus Quarry. That's cool and all. Uh, I want to know if there's any more information on there. Can I choose anything else? Nope. I guess that's it. Alright, let's get out of here. I assume Max is going to escape and chase us now. Oh. Oh, that's good. I didn't even notice that. What the heck? The chariot. I like how they're all depicted with like wolves or something. The chariot. At its reins of the chariot, we would all feel safer, taking control, relying on determination to make our choices. Valiant, but in some cases foolish. Many seek the refuge of the chariot, but perhaps in some cases they're not as safe as we think they are. I mean, I have the needle, so obviously I'm going to use this to hide things. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Go here. I mean, I obviously have to hide the needle. It's a little safe spot for it. So what is this one? Is there On something the written here? Of North Kill lay there sleeping. The hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. Shod Limerick. Hmm. Nothing else. Doesn't paint a particularly favorite picture of the sheriff Hackett, but perhaps this isn't the first time he's locked someone up illegally. I mean, fair. Can I close the door or something so I don't immediately die? Yeah, you need to rest now. I guess go to sleep. There's nothing else I can do. I would close that cell, but I this game has an aversion to closing things for protection. <laughs> yeah. 
You want to tell me what happened? I could ask you the same thing. Why didn't you run? I won't leave Max. This doesn't mean I trust you. I don't care. I just want to help him. Turn around, hands against the wall. Seriously? I am too tired to argue. But... Ugh. Me too. <laughs> I'll brew some coffee. So how's Max? What's this? An education. Watch. He's gonna show himself what happened. He's gonna show him what happens. Is this the option where I get nice to job, stab him up. with the needle? Yeah, I, I mean. Harder than they make out in the textbooks. Especially when nobody's helping you. You're the doctor. Uh, animal doctor, and no. I'm I mean, what if, are we if not animals? We never will be stuck in here forever. You know, just because you know doesn't mean you know. You know? No, no, I do not uh, know what that means. I know. What? I'm not. This isn't what it seems to be. You're going to have to be more specific. You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. My family. We didn't mean to hurt anybody. We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Uh-huh, sure. Not really. We're going to end this thing once and for all. We? Yeah. So, how I want to know why. Involved? My family is down at the bottom of a well. What? <laughs> yeah, that's a big what. Family is the most important thing in the world. I say, yeah. But if your whole family, you know, like. Every last one of them decided to jump down the bottom of a well, and they're all just hanging on the end of a rope. How can one person be expected to pull them all back out? You can't. If you pull on that rope, and you're just going to fall right down at the bottom of the well with the rest of them. And what's the point of that? Right, so you, you're the one at the top of the well with a rope, and... Yes. I thought that was obvious. Yeah, okay, yeah, I got it. Yeah, it makes no sense. Forget it. Let's see how smart you really are. Um, okay. What is this? This has been a long expedition. Expe expe expedition? No. 
Well, what does it mean? Exposition dump. Read it. When full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. One by one leads lambs to slaughter. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. And should you yourself be cursed, armed with silver and the first, when moon is full before its wane, rend the beast that cursed you slain. No longer shall you face your blight or fear the dread of full moon's light. Yeah. Keep reading. That's a terrible idea. Don't do that. Keep reading. I want the lore. And if it's a bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. Perchance you'll save your cursed soul before infection takes its toll. Starting to get the picture. It's not a lot to go on. And frankly, it's shit. Why did they have to make it rhyme? I don't know. But it's all we have to go on. Kill the werewolf that bit you and you'll be cured. It has to be silver, has to be full moon. Basically. It seems pretty straightforward to me. If you can kill the werewolf, and that's a big if. I just want to cure Max. It's not as straightforward as you think. So wait, if Max got me in the eye, doesn't that mean I'm infected now too? No. Scratches don't do it. Only bites. Are you sure about that? Pretty sure. Hmm. So what's the plan? So what's the plan? Well, that's where I'm hoping you'll come in. Me? Yeah. Because your studies. I haven't even started. Well, you're the best option I got. I've been hunting this damn white wolf under the full moon so long I start to think it doesn't exist, you know? Maybe it doesn't matter, because maybe there's another way. Whatever you believe, there's got to be some science. And you do science. Hmm. Look. I'm not talking much. I'm really just trying to take it all this. in. I'll be back in the morning. Seen enough? I don't think I'd believe a word he just said if I hadn't... If I hadn't seen that. I believe him. You can't tell me you really trust that guy now. Oh, fuck no, don't trust that. that. I said I believe him about the werewolf stuff, not the science bit. I don't know what he wants. He's a dirty line kidnapping cop, Laura. We should be careful of anything that fucker says. That's true. I feel like he was gonna well, be dubious regardless. Fuck him. He's had his chance to fix this. We're getting out of here and we're gonna fix it on our own. Hey, Laura? Yeah? I saw what happened. What I did to your eye? Yeah. Is it bad? Yeah, I would think so. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm so sorry.
It wasn't you. I know it wasn't you. I know. But it was. We're gonna fix you, Max. Promise. I promise. You said let me in there. Chris. Okay. I know they're in there. Who? The counselors that didn't show up. How'd you find out? Bobby told me. Said you scrapped an abandoned car. A while back, I, I worked out the rest. Shit. Why? Well, why'd you think, Chris? Jesus, Travis. You're still here? That's fucked up. I fucking bit one of them. Chris, what's I supposed to do? Chris is a werewolf? What was that? I mean, Kaylee was, too. So I guess it's not impossible. You shot me. I'm telling mom. Thank you, lucky stars wasn't. I'm telling mom. What's your plan? You can't keep him here forever. I am handling it. Maybe if you'd done your job, they wouldn't have been at the camp that night. You ever think of that? If I'd have done my job, you'd all be in prison. You ever think of that? That was all Bobby and Caleb. Are those know hikers? It. That that that. It's an entire family of werewolves. What are you gonna do now? Whatever happened to we're all in this together? Shit, man. Let's go to my office. We shouldn't talk here. Max. Uh. Max. Uh. What is it? Travis was just in the hall talking. The cop. So. With Chris Hackett. Was he here to let us out? No. He's the werewolf, Max. Chris Hackett is the one that bit you down on the storm shelter. Holy shit, that's... Who would have guessed? <laughs> I mean, I guess, thinking about it, I... Could have. And yet you didn't. It all makes sense. That's why Chris's car was at the lodge that night. Travis was protecting him. That's why he followed us, and that's why he didn't kill the werewolf in the storm shelter, because it was his fucking brother. God, it's so obvious. If, if Chris was the one that bit me, then... You have to kill Chris. Yeah, then that's our cure. That's how we fix you. Jesus, Laura, are we thinking the same thing? Tomorrow, we're getting out of here. <sighs> I'm gonna get Travis's gun and kill Chris Hackett. It has to be on a full moon, it's the problem. Hey! Hey! Help her! Laura needs help! Uh, Laura? Uh, Laura, are you okay? Uh, God damn it. <laughs> What the hell's going on? Laura? I'm about to say, that should be very obvious to see. <gasps> yeah. Bye bye. Oh. Fuck. Go to sleep, go to sleep. Go to sleep, Mr. Sheriff. Key, please. And a gun. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Now get Max out of there. I'm starting to think you were really sick. Well, maybe I should consider acting as my major. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Yeah, yeah basically. I'm gonna, yeah. Have a nice day. I'm going to go kill your brother. Bye-bye. <sighs> have a nice nappy. Um, 
weird. We should grab our staff. We need silver ammo. He must have some around here. Probably in the door that's locked that I can't get in. What is it? I thought I heard someone. I'm so confused as to what the hell is going on. Like, what is the point of the voice? Where are these auditory hallucinations coming from? Ah, beautiful weapons. I could use those at the moment. There's nobody in here. What the fuck? He makes them. What is it? Shotgun shells. He loads them with silver. That's where he was last month hunting. I guess I won't be needing this anymore. I would still take it. Hey, I just realized something. We're free. Not yet. Hell yeah. I'll be anymore. nice. That's two months we'll never get back, but for now, we're one step closer to going home. And when is that? Tonight, going to Hackett's quarry, and we're killing Chris Hackett. Okay, so this is earlier today, technically. This is the day of the full moon, is what I'm understanding. Is that the end? And no. I made my way here to camp. Left Max at the island. Seemed like the best place for him, surrounded by water and all. That's it. Oh, so that was Max That's on the, the island. Don't all jump in at the same time. Wait. The island? Like like our island? Like the one in the lake? Yeah, why? Because Jacob... He went back there looking for Emma, and he hasn't come back yet. Neither of them has. Oh, shit. Well, as long as they didn't go poking around where they shouldn't have, they're probably fine. Poking around where he shouldn't have is Jacob's middle name. This is very bad. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah, because Jacob's going to end up fighting Max. After you saw me at the pool, after I shot Chris, um, I went back to the island expecting Max to be back to normal. But... It was very much not. Wow, this is a long chapter. We're getting Laura's entire story here. That's what I'm understanding. This chapter has gone on for like over an hour. I was just surprised by that because the other three chapters I've done today were lasted somewhere around 40-ish minutes each. No, I understand that. Jacob never actually went to the island. He went... What? To the end there, we saw him with Emma, and they were being chased by whatever one was on the main island, not on this island right here. Max! Or the mainland, not the main island. Max? Hello? 
Nope. Well, I mean, this is a flashback, so I'm not gonna die. Because that wouldn't make narrative sense. They become quadru- not quadrupedal, but, uh, digitigrade. That's the word. Like, his legs have become digitigrade as well. Bear spray? That is the fastest rowing. Yeah, so Chris, or Nick got caught by the hunters. We saw him get caught. We saw another werewolf hiding. So the werewolf I uh, killed not hiding. Chris. Well, that wasn't a werewolf. It was Haley Hackett, Chris's daughter. Whatever I shot, that was no girl. Unless, I, I guess, it turned back after I shot it when I went to the island. Wait, so how come Max didn't kill you then? No point in hiding it. He tried. I got away. I need to end this. Please don't shoot her. We don't have much time. Um, hello? Madame. What's a hut? So this is our new guest. <laughs> Smell good, don't I? Uh, you're creepy. Go on, take a bow. Come on. Oh, electric. Okay, that works. Dumb fucking animal. Is having the worst day. The absolute worst day. Oh, shit. Oh, hi. Is that Nick? That has to be Nick. Now what? Okay, so we're underground. We're underneath the main lodge. 
So that's where we are currently. Oh my god, finally. Okay, I was wondering no, when the chapter would be over. You? Poking your nose where it doesn't belong. Don't believe everything you hear. I really don't. Anyway, here we are again. Let's see what you've brought me this time, shall we? Okay. The chariot. At the reins of a chariot, we would all feel safer. Taking control, relying on determination to make our choices. Valiant, but in some cases, foolish. Many seek refuge in chariots. But perhaps in some cases, they're not as safe as we think. So if I'm are. given a clear option of a place to hide and, and possibly be safe, it's probably not. Ways. Will you let me show you more? Please, please be so kind. Okay, it's still in. That was actually nothing. You'll be seeing me a few more times before the night's over. I look forward to that as long as you follow the right path, of course. Okay.